What's up, guys? Welcome to my apartment. Where do we begin? This is my daughter, Nova. She's a princess. A nice princess, though. And, um, sorry for the mess. These are all of my really cool pieces that I'm wearing for tour. I'm so excited. I'm, like, taking out all my dead leaves. Hey, it's the dream girl. And she be popping in your dream world. And we be right until the sun comes up. Just getting lost with you, you know what's up. Sometimes I just like having conversations in these chairs because they're very conversation chairs. Like, I feel like official as fuck. You know, usually Nova sits in that one. I really love just like freestyling as much as possible. It's like when you freestyle, you leave yourself little clues to what your soul really wants to speak about. So I'll like go in the shower and just leave my voice notes on. I don't have any space in my phone only because I have like thousands of voice notes. And like, like literally they sound like. That was a bar. I forgot about all of these. I write all around this place. I write on the floor, I write here, I write there, I write everywhere. Me being the dream girl, it has many meanings, but for me, I'm my own dream girl in a way because the little girl me is really proud of who I have become so far, and I'm happy about that. So it's kind of just like that mixed in with being like a dream girl and just like being the girl that you've always wanted to be and like being your best self is really what it's about. So like in between like all of these situations and relationships that you go through, you have to like remember who you are. I feel like this EP is really talking about the basic things that you go through, but really being a bad b about it and reminding yourself who you are and then coming out of it like, yo, honestly, I got myself and that's all I ever needed, but I needed to write a story also, so thank you. I'm about to, um Take you guys to where I grew up. It'll be fun. And we get to see my mommy. This is my first house that I've ever lived in. This is where the dream girl first began. Um, the dream girl like all began here because I had this vision where I like walked through my old house, ran into my little girl self. And she was like, hey, you're really cool. I'm really proud of you. You're kind of like exactly who I want to be. And I was like, that makes me really happy. And that like lets me know a lot right now. And then I kind of just like slipped out of the dream. And I think that everyone should tap into the baby them because we get so distracted with adult growing up and like wanting to be grown even. So I started making music. Um, since the beginning of time, honestly, my mom put me in her church choir. I was harmonizing with other kids since I was four. She went to an Episcopal church, so it was very cathedrally and angelic and a lot of like falsettos. And we would practice like with pictures of lines and we'd be like, ooh. Okay, we're here. I get to see my mommy and eat some snacks like you do at your mom's house. I brought her treats because I can't see her on Mother's Day because I'm going to be on tour. Hey. This is the big baby who wants to be a cat really bad, but he's just not. He's just a big giant boy. My love. She lives right here. Hi, baby. Yes. I get all my stuff from my mommy. <laughs> she was the main BB of all BBs. Oh, I love it. I can take these off of my own house. <laughs> What's up with you? Ooh, a soap. Hey! I'm about to put the ball right down. Oh my God. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> love you. Now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so Dream Girl coming out. So Dream Girl's coming out really soon. I'm really excited to be sharing it while I'm on tour. I'm just really grateful that I get to do this and be able to show you guys around my place. All right, you guys, I'm about to hang out with my mom. It's been a minute, so I will see you later, Miss Bish. Bye-bye.